the final review of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Let's do this over here. So, essentially, I played and beat Ganon, but my stream cut out halfway through. Yeah, I didn't get to record uh, the final ending of the boss, but needless to say, it was epic, and I really enjoyed it, and yeah, it was a lot of fun. So, uh, just doing a r final review now of this game, just my thoughts, my overall thoughts, and the final grade. Um, so, this is, uh, this is definitely, uh, this is my first Switch game, uh, first Zelda game in a while, and this game definitely had a lot of had a lot of things to it uh it was a large game um i played about 20 20 sessions at an hour and a half a piece so i'm thinking about 40 hours probably i put into it total estimating about 40 hours so um uh all of which were pretty enjoyable it's pretty pretty steady 40 hours all the way through. There's never a point in the game where I said to myself, oh, I don't really want to pick it up. I mean, the first part, I was on a tear. I just wanted to keep going. I wanted to keep finding shrines. I wanted to keep building up my hearts, you know, keep discovering things. You know, I wanted to keep, like like an Ubisoft game, I wanted to keep unlocking towers, checking out new lands, and doing the main missions. I wanted to, uh, you know, I was motivated to you know, do all four of the Divine Beasts, you know, uh, no problem, because those are really, really nice. The shrines, they have interesting puzzle content in getting to the shrines. Some of the shrine quests are interesting, too, getting to the shrines. Um, uh, just just a wide world of Hyrule, and just it's just a, a real pleasure to play. Like, like, the enemies weren't, like, you know, really sinister. They're kind of kid childish perhaps you could say but they're still fun to play um and uh, progression just fine uh, the power-ups they really helped every time so it just really felt like you're adding to your repertoire um it's, it's just like a really well done rpg in my my opinion um a lot of a lot of little touches like you know things you wouldn't expect like if you're in a lightning storm and you're wearing metal gear that you'll get shocked to just things like you know a little surprises like like the the climbing mechanic is big in this game it's just, and most rpgs like you can't climb like if you run into a you run into a mountain well you have to find your way around but no with with link you could you can try to climb your way up there if you have enough stamina so it really it really it really kind of it's really open to you like how you want to proceed through the world um and then the, the the skills like the the you know the bomb and the magnet you know just kind of like okay I have a tool belt you know I want to you know, figure out how to solve these little problems and puzzles with my tool belt so uh, you kind of have to think at times so I, I appreciate that element it's just like the puzzles were right in the sweet spot where you know they're not too hard if you really stopped and like put a little bit of thought into it you could figure it out some of the puzzles I couldn't figure out you know just because you know, it just wasn't coming to me, and I had to go online and figure it out. But that's not a problem, you know. Most of the puzzle, 90% of the puzzles, is like, oh, maybe if I try this, it'll work, you know. Yeah, it worked, you know. So I like that creative a aspect of the game. Um, as far as graphics goes, I mean, it's it's not like, you know, it's running on a Switch, but I'm pretty impressed with the, the Switch's level of graphics able to handle um, you know, you can't get like, you know, like Skyrim type textures, you know, full, but it does it, it uses the resources it has, it does well enough to really get the point across, you know, as far as graphics goes. So it's, it's not really bad at all. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised, you know, I wasn't expecting like huge graphics, but it's, it's really decent enough. Um, yeah, so this game was, you know, really enjoyable. Uh, some of my gripes for this game, um, Sometimes, you know, the the biggest challenge was, you know, like having enough weapons because, you know, you, you just go through weapons, they break all the time, and it's just having to find weapons, and nobody sells weapons, and, you know, you have rupees, but it's, you can't buy the one thing you need, which is weapons, uh, but that's just one little gripe. Um, uh, another little gripe would be, like, for each of the... 
for each of the, um, you know, the, the, oh, let's turn this on. What's this? Why is this going? Why is this going dark? Oh, okay. There we go. Um, lost my train of thought here. Okay. So, essentially, another little gripe is like, it's kind of like they have this one format where it's just like, you know, you go to an area, you meet with the kingdom, and there's one champion, one uh, divine beast that you have to conquer. And it's just like very similar format. There's five things you have to unlock and one boss and divine beast. And it, it repeats that four times. So it's very similar, like with very little changes. Uh, so I wouldn't really call it repetitive, but it's just like, you know, it's like a very simple, like, uh, uh, framework. You, you could say, uh, but but at least like um, you know each divine beast had its own puzzle you have to go through in the in the dungeon. So those it, it was okay. That's just a minor gripe. Um, uh, it's just uh, a a bunch of a minor little the little gripes. Uh, what else? I mean, nothing too super to complain about. Nothing that really chapped me or like. You know, that just really made me upset. Like, you know, that's just like, what is, you know, it's just a really, it's a really uh, well polished game. Like, um, I just really enjoyed the, uh, just going through and exploring. It's so nice. Like, you know, there's always a secret around every little corner. Or like, all the Korok seeds is like, I wonder if there's a Korok here. You need to try something and, oh, here's a Korok seed. You know, it's like, and then you can upgrade your inventory, and it's just, yeah, it's just enough Korok seeds to upgrade your inventory. So, uh, I think another one, no, another downside I was thinking about is, um, like, I enjoyed the main quest. That's the main content in the game, but the side quests, like, the side quests were kind of a disappointment to me because my expectation of a side quest, if you're going to do a side quest, it has to be of quality content like if i'm using skyrim as the 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 top model i mean those side quests you know they're they're interesting the rewards are are good they help you out you know you just you just want to do the side quest you do a sc side quest in skyrim you're like yeah that was sweet i want to do the next one not so much in legend of zelda these these side quests in legend of zelda they feel very miscellaneous or most of them do it's like I tried a few side quests and I quickly learned that they are not, you know, it's just like, like, hi, I'm Bob. Uh, will you collect 10 crickets for me? Like, oh, that sounds tedious. Uh, okay, let me do that. Oh, here's uh, 20 rupees, like some useless reward, you know, like the quest line wasn't interesting. You don't get to see anything like you don't see him hook up with his girlfriend or anything. It's just, it's just arbitrary. It just feels kind of. You know, side quests are there to, you know, round out the game because they have to be. So, I, I essentially just kind of brushed off the side quests. It's it just, you know, there's it's not really any content there. It's just, you know, it just felt like, you know, you can, like, for the enthusiast, for the guy who likes to do 100% complete, you know, those side quests, you know, they, they do that. Yeah, you can get, like, a sword or something, but it's, like, nothing substantial that you can't get just by playing through the regular main quests. Um, I played uh, some of the shrine quests. Um, those were kind of interesting. There's a few interesting shrine quests. Um, I almost wanted to, you know, continue to do the shrine quests just for... Because that is a little bit better content than the side quests, in my opinion. But I kind of viewed it as, you know... in the In the end, when I was getting down to Ganon's castle... I would see a shrine off in the distance and I'd be like, you know what? I'm close to the end. Do I really need more shrines? Yeah, I already have a bunch of hearts. It just, I just less and less felt the need to, you know, discover more shrines. Like, right, in the beginning I wanted to get shrines so I can get more s stamina and hearts. That was useful. But when you get past a certain point, it's just like, yeah, I could probably get to the castle by now. I've got all the... You know, just on the course of the main progression, in the main progression, getting all the divine beasts. If you just get the shrines, then you have enough power after you get all the main beasts to hit up the castle. 
Um, again, for completionists, they like to do, you know, there's 120 shines. They can discover every little secret in the game. I'm not going to spend my time doing that. So I pretty much researched online what other content to experience in the game, you know, besides that. And it's besides the side quest and the, the shrine quest, it's just the main quest. Um, and then there's, like, like uh, the memories, like, okay the memories main quest you go to different points and kind of look at the photograph and be like figure out where that's just a lot of work for no reason like like if i really wanted to see the memory cut scenes i just go online youtube and save myself the hassle of you know running around hyrule to every little specific spot um so basically yeah i looked at any other content that I mean, you do get rewarded if you go if you're a completionist to spend, you know, 20 more hours <laughs> getting all the shrines. You do get the pretty sweet uh, the green hat and the tunic. Uh, I wanted to get the full set, but I just I just think it wasn't enough. You know, it's not worth spending that amount of time just so you get that outfit. You know, uh, so I experienced the main content of the game, and I was I was pleased with it. Um, you know, I could have. You know, I could have gone for... If they had some really, like, worthwhile side quests, you know, worth going on with, like, interesting quest line and interesting, useful reward, I would have probably bumped this this uh, grade up to the top grade. Uh, but this game is pretty far up there. It didn't make my top grade of A++. That's, like, Skyrim level, and that's uh, Witcher 3, A++. Uh... This, though, was a pretty darn good game all, all around, um, you know. Um, I mean, anybody can play this game. It's, you know, it, the difficulty level, there was some challenging parts. Like, I go to a shrine, I wasn't up to the level, and they kicked my butt. But, you know, I just progressed past it. This is nowhere near the, the difficulty of a Dark Souls. This is, like, you know, half of that. It's challenging at times, but you could definitely work through it. I mean, the bosses, some of the bosses were, like, the Divine Beast bosses were a breeze, so not challenging at all, but still fun, even though it wasn't challenging. Uh, it wasn't that challenging. So, I think I've thoroughly covered the game. Um, uh, <coughs> uh, in the end, I think the final grade for this game would be an A+. Plus. Um, I feel a solid A plus is in order. Uh, it just hit all the right marks, you know. A lot of nostalgia. I mean, I'm glad I picked up the Switch for this title. Um, you know, well worth it to play this game, uh, and I think deserving, well deserving of Game of the Year. Uh, for Zelda enthusiasts, they'll be this will be their dream come true, probably A plus plus. But for me, I've played other games that are just a slight bit better. Uh, but the work on this game, well polished, well done. The mechanics are great. All the tools are useful. Just a little bit of a miss on the side quests, but, uh, you know, uh, that's just small gripes. Small gripes all around. So, yeah, A+. Plus. Good game. Uh, we're going to move on to the next game now. Alrighty, thanks for watching.